If you haven't done so already, please change your video viewer to full screen mode for best results. Welcome to the Visual 3D Design Mode tutorial where you will experience the ease of our scene layout and object manipulation techniques. What you are seeing now is a short preview of the Lost Isle demo scene which is included in the most recent Visual 3D beta release. We encourage you to download Visual 3D for free and experience our toolset firsthand. This Lost Isle demo scene was entirely created and painted with the Visual 3D toolset. This tutorial will expose you to a few of the core techniques which help to make this an easy and fun experience. After entering the Lost Isle demo scene, switch into design mode by pressing the F2 key or by clicking on the design tab at the top of your scene view window. To select objects for manipulation, left click them with your mouse. Use shift or control keys while left clicking to select multiple objects. To move objects along the contour of the terrain, just left click and drag. To move objects vertically, press the shift key. To rotate objects on the y-axis, press the left and right mouse buttons together while dragging. To resize an object, press the control key and left button while dragging the mouse. Double click an object to set the camera focus on it for more exact manipulations. Now you will find yourself in object focus mode where the camera view is centered on your selected object. In this mode, your camera motion is synchronized with the selected object's motion. Press the middle mouse button and drag to rotate your camera around the selected object to attain the optimum view angle. Visual 3D provides the ability to create object groups for more convenient manipulation of many objects at once. You can save object groups to the asset library as a single asset that can be freely dropped multiple times into any scene. To toggle grouping for the selected objects, press Ctrl G on your keyboard. Here we have saved these two huts to the asset library for reuse. Now we are dropping into the scene multiple instances of these two huts to demonstrate the convenience and ease of using object groups. Now we will employ these techniques to create several stacks of barrels. The green lined box you see here indicates that these barrels all belong to the same group which enables you to manipulate them in unison. Now press Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate the selected assets in place. Now move the duplicate objects by clicking and dragging on them. We again use Ctrl D to duplicate the barrels to create two more stacks just like it. Again, we use Ctrl G to merge these barrels into a single group which can then be saved to our asset library for reuse. Notice how these barrels are now manipulated in unison and yet each column follows the contour of the ground independently. With Visual 3D, you can configure each of your 3D models with physics that will automatically behave realistically in the scene. Notice how these barrels are all pre-configured with an appropriate shape and mass which now behaves realistically in the scene. Also notice the advanced shadows pre-configured for nearly everything in this scene to produce the desired immersive gaming experience. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful for the creation of your own 3D games and virtual worlds.